Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am using FreeCAD 0.18. This is a open source CAD software and we will be making a diamond, round cut diamond based on this proportion on the picture on the bottom right. If you search on Google diamond cut proportions, you can see the different proportion of a round diamond and we can have a look at the diamond model here so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial so I'll create a new file okay in FreeCAD you need to use the, the, these different workbenches you have part design, sketcher and a range of other things so to create a model we're using part design. All right, so when you go in there, you get you get these tools showing up, and we'll start by creating a sketch. Okay, to rotate, we hold shift and right click and drag. To pan, we hold the middle button and drag. All right, I'm gonna click this plane. Actually, let me rotate that around. So front should be there, and I'm gonna click on this plane here which is the top plane okay I'll create a circle I'll click here and drag so my tools are here my constraints are here I'm gonna this is coincidence constraints I'll connect this point with the origin and I'll press escape to get out of that tool and this will be um, this is the circle dimension tool I'll set my radius to be 20, uh, 50 actually. So the diameter is 100. Okay, we click close. All right, we'll extrude, extrude, or this is called pad. And we'll set the height to be 60. Okay, okay. All right, so here the origin is hidden. To unhide it, we we'll press clicker and press spacebar. Okay, first thing I'll do is I'll create a plane. This is create a new datum plane. I'll click that. I'll click this plane and I'll set, I'll move it up. Uh, actually, I'll click on the top of the cylinder. Actually, we'll just uh, let me cancel that and go in again click plane, click on the top and I'll go into the Z offset, I'll put minus 15.5 and I'll create another plane, I'll click the new plane and put minus 2 so that's based on the proportion here so 15.5 and 2 so that's where the middle of the diamond is alright next I'm gonna look here, I wanna look on the right and I'll go to sketch. This is the sketch tool. We'll click on the right plane and we go OK. All right, here we will create a cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool. This tool lets me create multiple lines. So I want to do a sketch roughly like that and I'll place it there so I don't put exactly where it is because we want to manually constrain that so this will join that together alright so I am going to switch to wire display so we can see through this tool connects a point to um, a line, an edge, so let me cancel that, so we go on to the point, I'll click on that and move it to there so click on this point, make it go there and I'll make this horizontal, this is horizontal I'll click vertical, make this vertical and that vertical so I'm gonna project these two denim planes, to do that I'll go Click this tool, click create an edge from a, an external entity. So we just 
create an edge there. Now I am going to use this tool to make the point sit on there. And that's mostly what we want. And we're going to go here to create dimension. I'll click here. And I want that to be 60. I'm going to do a horizontal dimension from here to here. That will be 25. I'll drag this up. Okay, so now I'll do this dimension from here. Click on this point and then this point. I will set that to be that hundred how far hundred is fifty. Press escape and drag this. This should be going up there. So let's have a look. And we will set the dimension for this edge actually. Click on the point and this could be anything. I'll just put 80. So the edges turn green, it means it's fully constrained. So I can't move these around. So that's good. So I'm going to go back to flat line view and I'm going to create a cut. These blue tools are cutting tools and I am going to make it go through all and symmetrical so cut on both sides so we have a cut there so we're gonna pattern that do a circular pattern and we click pick the feature we want so it will be a pocket a pocket is a cut i'll click ok i'm gonna switch to z axis i'm gonna make it go eight times around and click ok so that is the first step. That's uh, cuts the main faces for the diamond. Okay, we're going to go switch to front view now. All right, now we are going to place a datum point on an edge. So I click datum point here and I'll click this edge. I'll click on center of mass to make the datum point to go onto the center of the line. I'll go OK and I'll create another data point here and click on center of mass to make it sit on the center and I'll put one more on this edge. All right, so now we're going to create a plane based on those three data points. I'll click on the plane tool here and you need to zoom in, make sure you select these points and confirm here make sure it's saying that points we don't want to select the edges so that in point and then click on the last one here and there should be a plane here so I'll click OK so we created this plane it's a bit too big so I'm gonna resize that so I'll go to click on the data plane switch to manual I'll set this to be around 70 by 70 so it's move over there I'm gonna move it um, to where the cut is. So I'm go going to edit and I'll set the offset to minus 30, minus 30 to move the data planes there. All right, now I'm going to do a cut to remove this angle here. So I'm going to go sketch. I'll click on the new da data plane, click OK, and I'm going to go to the circle tool here and draw a circle. I'll go OK and we're going to go extrude I know we want to do a cut to do a cut we'll select this, this blue tool here and I'll go reverse to switch the other direction and you can make it go through all or just leave it at 3 mils so go OK I'm going to hide this plane by press it, clicking, clicking the plane and press space all right, now we're going to go to polar pattern or circular pattern. We'll click the new feature here. We'll click OK, switch to the Y axis and I'll do eight occurrence. So you can see here it made, made eight cuts around. All right, let's do some more interesting things. 
All right, I'm going to move this to the middle. All right, we need to do a cut here, mirror it to the left, and then cut it all, all the way around. Okay, to do that, we want to create a line, a point here and here. The best way I've found to do that is by going to sketch, click on the plane there, and click OK. And we have a tool here which is create an edge from external entities. We click here and here, and we cr create an entity, but it doesn't really show a line from outside sketch. So we need to draw a uh, little sketch here and here, and I'll go to coinc coincidence constraint. I'll move this point to here and here. Okay, so I'll press escape and I'll just make this nice and neat. I'll go close. All right, so we just draw that two lines there. And now because of that, when we create a da new data plane, I can select the vertex. So it says here I click an edge. So let's zoom in and you want to select the vertex. All right, so I'll click this vertex. Oh no, let's uh, do that again. And then we click on the next reference, click on... All right, let's go in. All right, so we want to get the vertex here. All right, it's good, it says data point here. Okay, I think this one, we're gonna try again. All right, there you go, it's right now. So make sure we're selecting the right things here. It's a bit tricky to select the right thing in FreeCAD. All right, so you can see now it's the plane is highlighting the area we want to cut. I'm just gonna put minus 30 offset here, minus 30, and then I'm gonna go switch to to manual on resize and I'll put this 70 by 70. Okay, now we're gonna cut this feature out by going to this blue cut tool, click on the new plane, click OK. Uh, actually, before we do that, we need to do the sketch. So click on sketch, click on the new plane and click OK. It's flipping the other way. We gotta go out, go back to the datum, and then flip sides, click OK. And now you get to edit that new sketch. It's flipping the right way. So I'll go to circle tool here and click close. I'm gonna create a cut. We reverse to Make it cut the other way, and you can leave it at five mil or leave it to cut through all. So basically, it's extruding up to do the cut, and we go OK. And I'm going to hide this plane. All right, what we need to do now is a circular pattern with two features. You can't really do use the polar feature. You can't reuse like even if you do a mirror. You can't really really do a circular pattern of the mirror, you have to use this tool to do multiple patterns. So you need to select the feature you want to do multiple pattern, click OK. And here, I'm going to right click so you can add a mirror and then you can add more different patterns. So I'm going to add a mirror and I'll make a mirror around this plane. So this cut is going to move here and then I'm going to add another pattern here, which is a polar pattern and I'll make it rotate about around the Z axis and I'll make it go, oh no, we'll go edit, I'll make it go eight times and I'll click OK and click OK. It's successful. So now you can see 
it's these faces are cutting around. All right, so I'm going to hide this plane by pressing spacebar. Okay, I'm going to do a cut on the bottom and I need to select the point where this plane is. So um, I'll need to do the, a scratch sketch. I'll click on this plane and click OK. And we have a copy from another sketch tool here. So I'll just do a copy of that. And this line is behind a plane. So I just got to rotate it and click on that and click close. So we can see I created two lines there. All right, that's good. So now we're going to create one one more item. So click create that endpoint. I'll click on this edge and click on center or mass. Click OK. Uh, yep, let's go OK. All right. Now I am going to, I'll just hide this plane. I'll create another plane here. I'll select this point. And so we're going to the next selection. Make sure you select this down point. So it's a vertex, yep. And we click, we'll go select this point here. So it's a vertex as well. And we can see what um, what we're cutting is right. I'll just do a minus 30 cut um, offset of the, the plane there. And I'm just going to resize this plane by switching to manual. Set this to be 70 and 70. And OK. And I'll create a sketch on this plane. Click OK. And I'll draw a circle um, covering this area we want to cut. Click OK. I'll click cut here. I'll switch to reverse. I'll click OK. And I'm going to hide this plane by pressing, selecting that and pressing spacebar. All right. So again, we need to use a multiple pattern tool, which is this one. We'll click on that. We'll click the new feature. We'll click OK. I'm going to right click. I'll go add a mirror. I'll make, I'll click this plane to mirror around that plane. And I'll add a polar pattern. I'll make it go around the Z axis and I'll make it go eight times. OK. And we have our diamond. All right, so I'm just going to go up. I'm going to hide the origin and the down planes by pressing spacebar. All right, so there you go. We have our shape. I'll hide my sketch. I'm going to give it a color. Uh, so select on your body, go to view, appearance. And I'll switch material to emerald and I'll pick a color. Okay, there you go. We have our diamond completed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out FreeCAD. Have a nice day.